Welcome to MonroeMotors.com. Here we have a 2013 Chevrolet Corvette Grand Sport Coupe uh, with the 4LT and the 60th anniversary design and stripe package. Uh, so it is dressed in Arctic white. We've got the twilight blue interior. Um, I'm just going to store it over the rear of the vehicle. Let's have a look. Uh, it does have the removable target top uh, with the uh, 60th anniversary stripes, as you can see. Um, so they. Uh, um, from the bottom all the way up and over. Uh, we do have the original build sheet here. We've got the uh, the, st the uh, original window sticker as well. Um, so 4LT, which has the memory package, sports seats with the power bolsters and lumber, uh, the luggage shade and cargo net, custom leather wrapped interior package, heated front seats, steering column tilt and telescopic, additional nine months XM radio, the time of purchase, uh, navigation system with AM, FM and CD player, Bose premium nine speaker stereo, uh, universal home remote, uh, Bluetooth and heads up display. Uh, Chrome wheels were added, MagRide was added, the 60th anniversary design package was added, six speed paddle shift auto transmission was added, uh, dual mode exhaust performance, and 60th anniversary straight package. Um, so twilight blue is what I called the interior, but I see here on the window sticker, uh, it's actually on the window sticker, it's called diamond blue. So very neat. Um, so there's the documentation underneath. Um, we've got, uh, storage area we've got compartments here on either side and uh we've got the uh privacy shade here so i'll just go ahead i'll close the uh the lid here and we'll have a look from the back so from the back it's got the nice circular taillights we've got the 60 year uh badging and again nice npp performance exhaust uh, so we'll carry on we'll move on to the other side here uh, there's your nice Grand Sport chrome wheels. We've got nice Michelin um, tires on there and the cross-drilled heavy-duty rotors. Uh, over the passenger side, um, part of the 4LT, you do get the real leather uh, there on the uh, door panel, uh, as well as the armrest. Uh, we've got Alcantara with the nice blue stitch, uh, power windows, power locks, and uh, electronic door release. And here's the kick plate on the passenger side. As you can see, it's in really good shape. Um, the uh, mat is the upgraded uh, Grand Sport mat for the power seat. You've got power fore aft up down, power lumbar, side bolster, and manual recline. And I'll just go and scan up this seat so you can see the condition. I also notice that we have the nice blue seat belts as well. And we've got the 60 embroidered into the headrest. Um, so as I get in, just have a look in the door frame, nice and tidy. Uh, we'll check out the glove box. We've got the books, we've got the DVD map, uh, we've got the airbag tag from, from factory and the wheel lock key there as well. Uh, here's the dash, it's got the nice um, embroidered Corvette logo on the leather dash, which is also a part of the 4LT. And that diamond blue looks excellent. And uh, let's hop out and we'll close this side up. And I'm just gonna step to the back of the vehicle and we'll scan along this side here so you can see the condition. And we'll stop here at the front. So there's your nice uh, Grand Sport placard. And then here's your front chrome wheel. So again, nice chrome wheels. We've got the uh, cross-drilled rotors there. We've got the nice Michelin tires. Under the hood, we've got the uh, LS3 V8 6.2 liter motor, which is 436 horsepower. And that's paired to a six speed manual transmission. And as you can see, everything is nice and tidy and neat as it should be. Um, here's your hood liner with the embossed Corvette logo. And we'll go ahead, we'll close the hood, and we'll just move around to the front. So from the front, we've got the nice uh, gray housing projector headlights with HID headlights. Uh, we've got the fog lights down below. Have a look at the front end. Looks great. And uh, in terms of condition, um, just having a close look here. Uh, I don't see any stone chips at all, which is fantastic. What a beautiful looking car. So we'll carry on. Uh, here's your other front wheel. So again, nice chrome wheels. Uh, we've got the uh, gray Corvette calipers there, the cross drill rotors, nice Michelin tires. I'll show you the windshield here. Um, so it looks to be in, in excellent condition, as you can see. And uh, I'll just move to the back here. Here's your other rear wheel. So again, nice chrome wheels. We've got the gray calipers, cross drill rotors, Michelin tires. 
And over at the driver's side, we've got our power locks, we've got two user power memory, uh, power exit button, and we've got power mirrors, power windows, electronic door release, that nine speaker Bose stereo, the Alcantara, and the nice leather, real leather there on the, the door panel. Here's the kick plate on the driver's side. Uh, a little bit of minor scuffing in the 60. Very, very, very minor, but there is some marks there. Um, you know, you expect that it is a kick plate, but it's it's in really good shape. Uh, so here's your power seat, power four, aft up, down, power uh, lumbar, side bolster, and manual recline. And again, I'll just go ahead and scan up this seat so you can see the condition. Looks good. And as I get in, just have a look in the door frame. Nice and tidy, and then we'll get in, we'll fire this one up. Alright, so in terms of kilometers, we have 38,458, so no warning lights or issues there on the dash. On the steering wheel, we've got the nice Alcantara finish with the nice uh, diamond blue stitching. Uh, we've got uh, memory or for the radio, so you got six memory favorites, volume controls, channel controls. You got paddle shifter plus and minus. Same thing on this side, plus and minus. Telephone answer, uh, telephone hang up, and voice command. You got the 60 year badging here on the steering wheel. Um, over here, we've got uh, the dimmer switch for the dash. We have a manual tilt on this side. We've got fuel door release, trunk release, and we've got heads up display controls. So I'll just turn off the, the lights for a moment and I'll show you that. Um, so there's your heads up display, it moves along. Uh, we can change the brightness of the image um, and we can actually cycle through some different information, different pages. And then there's also a mode selector here so we can press the mode selector and uh, put the car into some different modes. So uh, that's all controlled here. Um, here, I'll just zoom so you can see that. And on the end of this stick here, we've got cruise, and then we've got our headlights, and we've got our fog lights. On this side, you got the information center controls uh, buttons, push button start, and we've got our radio. So you got AM, FM, Sirius XM. Um, we've got factory navigation there. Uh, we can press this, and we've got uh, the uh, CD player and the navigation disc there. So we'll close that back up move this out of the way. We've got our dual zone climate control, we've got our heated seats, and we've got our center uh, ashtray and 12 volt socket. So we'll put those back in place. There's your six speed automatic shifter, nice Alcantara wrapped boot. Uh, we've got the cup holders here, and we've got our mag right. So um, I'll just zoom so you can see that. So you've got touring and you've got sport mode. So touring mode is gonna be a softer ride. Sport mode is gonna be a nicer uh, ride. Uh, sport will be a little bit firmer, right? Better, better for handling. Touring is going to be the softer one. Here's your 12 volt socket, uh, traction, traction control on and off, and then in here you got a USB port and a 12 volt, uh, sorry, a, a three and a half millimeter auxiliary in. Uh, here's your auto dimming rear view mirror with OnStar, and then above we've got our home remote buttons as well. Uh, so now we'll just hop out with the running. We'll have a look and a listen. So that's with the uh, NPP exhaust ports closed. Uh, so naturally those ports will open automatically once the car goes, I believe it's uh, 3,500 RPM. Uh, you can also remove the fuse, um, which will uh, leave the ports open all the time, or you can get a mild to wild controller put in so that you can open and close the exhaust ports on command. So I'm just moving along this side so you can see the condition. And we'll just go around to the back here. There it is running. What a really nice car. I absolutely love the diamond blue interior on the Arctic white the stripes. What a great addition. So there you have it folks. 2013 Chevrolet Corvette Grand Sport 4LT 60th anniversary design package here and available at MonroeMotors.com. Come on down and have a look at this one for yourself. Look forward to seeing you real soon.